What's up you guys, it's Cody Steck. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to move your cryptocurrency from Coinbase over to Voyager. Now, if you haven't downloaded Voyager yet, you do wanna check it out. There's a link down in the description below where you can trade $100 and you're gonna get $25 for free after you use that sign up link. So with that said, let's just jump right into things. Okay guys, so as we go into Coinbase here, this is their main platform. We're gonna go ahead and click on transfer or purchase and we're gonna cl click buy crypto with cash. And we're actually gonna go with Ethereum on this one because I'm trying to build out my Ethereum position. We're going to go ahead and put in $100 uh, for a purchase. I'm going to, uh, since I don't have cash in my account, I'm going to go with my bank account here and we're just going to purchase it directly from the bank account. Now, as you can see here, the purchase uh, for $100 comes with a $2.99 fee. So I'm going to receive $97.01 worth of Ethereum here. Now, the cool thing about this too is that you can actually send your Ethereum immediately up to $1,000 uh, in crypto per day while we wait for your funds to arrive. This is actually Actually something that's really cool because it gives you the opportunity to purchase the crypto and then send it immediately to somebody else or to yourself in a different account right away without having to wait for it to clear. This is something that I think is pretty new on Coinbase and it's actually a game changer because this allows you, you know, if you're trying to transfer money, which I don't think a lot of people do in the crypto world right now, you know, like, hey, I'm going to pay you with crypto or whatever. I don't think a lot of people are doing that at the moment, but it does open up that opportunity for you to be able to do this. Or in this case, it's going to give us the opportunity to just transfer those funds directly from from uh, Coinbase over to Voyager with this uh, method. So uh, that's a really cool feature that you can do there on Coinbase. And you can see here now that we've purchased, uh, unfortunately the price of Ethereum just dropped slightly as we purchased it. So we got $96.49 of Ethereum. Uh, you can see there 0 .00, uh, excuse me, 0.04494599. Okay, so now we're gonna jump over to Voyager. We're gonna open this up and we're gonna go to my main account here. We're gonna go over to my main account and we're gonna go to the settings and we're gonna go to transfer cash or crypto. We're gonna deposit to Voyager account and then we're gonna find Ethereum because that's what we want to transfer. We're gonna copy the address right here. It makes it super easy. You can just click on that little button. It's gonna copy it to your clipboard. Then we're gonna jump back over to the Coinbase app. And once we're back over on the Coinbase app, you can see that we're sitting at a uh, portfolio balance of $119.60 uh, for my portfolio here. I don't hold anything in Coinbase. I just had some uh, BSV, which I, I don't even know how I got, but um, it's just there and I can't really do anything with it because I don't believe uh, Coinbase or Voyager will let me sell it. But nevertheless, um, you know, it's just kind of sitting there. Uh, so that's what that's there for. And then I do have the, of course, the, the $100 of Ethereum that we purchased that we're, you know, with the fees is gonna go down. So we're gonna transfer that over here. Uh, so we're going to click on the transfer button again, and we're going to go to send crypto to another wallet. Cool thing here is on this page, you can actually just click on max and it will send the max amount. Uh, if that's what you want to do, you can send the max amount of your Ethereum uh, over to a different account or a different wallet. Um, and you can do that with any crypto. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit max here. Now on this page, we're going to go ahead and click on the uh, two. We're going to go ahead and paste the address that I got from my Voyager account. And then you can add a little note here, video, uh, just showing that it was coming for this video here. Now, the thing I want to point out here is it's going to show this transfer that I'm making to my other wallet. Uh, which is on the Voyager platform. I'm going to pay with my my current Ethereum wallet here on Coinbase. Coinbase says it does not charge a fee for this. However, there's a network fee of 0.003129 Ether. Uh, this is going to give me a, um, you know, this is going to take down what I'm able to um, move over because the Ethereum also went down in price and it's now down to 89.21. So the total is 95 89 for this amount. So the, the fees actually do kind of add up. I mean, by the time you purchase it on Coinbase and, you know, of course I didn't have to do that if I already held it on Coinbase, but I purchased it there and then now I'm going to pay uh, transfer it over to Voyager. I'm going to have to pay purchase fees. I'm going to have to pay network fees uh, for this. So make sure to get your free $25 using the affiliate link down in the description below to help me recoup some of those fees. Sign up for Voyager, trade $100 and you get that $25 for free. I'm going to get a little kickback as well. And this is going to help us both grow our cryptocurrency wallets. So make sure to use that link. This is something that you want to do. If you haven't used Voyager, it's really cool because you can get interest paid on the cryptocurrency that you're holding within that wallet. That's the biggest reason why I think these people are moving, uh, you know, money from or their cryptocurrency from Coinbase over to Voyager or over to BlockFi. I like Voyager because it's such an easy uh, platform to use. That's the one I prefer. And they do have this affiliate link for you to use. So go ahead and do that so we can get um, some of this, those fees back. Now, jumping back into the video here, you can see the total is $95.89. This is going to do a quick little two-step verification. I'm going to go ahead and put this in. In, 
And um, I don't know how much we'll have to block out here. We'll do that in the editing, but um, yeah, successfully sent. So that's basically it. At this point, we've now transferred that money over. I'm gonna click this. It does take some time to process this. So my portfolio balance still shows that the Ethereum is sitting in this account. Okay, now it's been a couple of minutes now and the Ethereum has completed the transfer from Coinbase over to my Voyager wallet. So we're gonna click on this. We're gonna refresh this page. It now shows my total value at 53.53 uh, for my total account. And we're gonna come in here to the Ethereum and um, we're going to go into transfers and history and once we come over here to transfers this is going to show that the deposit of 0.04182 ethereum was deposited on uh april 12th and you can see that that has successfully completed. So that is exactly how you can transfer your crypto from Coinbase over to Voyager using this method. Make sure to use the link in the description below. Trade $100 and you're gonna get $25 for free using the Voyager platform. And you're gonna get paid interest every single month on the cryptocurrency that you hold within the Voyager platform. I think this is a game changer. This company is up and coming and I think they're gonna be a massive player in the crypto space, especially as we come up on the Coinbase direct listing. I think this is gonna be big news for the stock market for around the crypto space as well as just crypto in general with these different platforms. So hopefully that helps guys. If you have questions, drop a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up here on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. I talk about all things money, stocks, and real estate here on the channel, and I'd love to see you in future videos. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next one.